Praise Satan, my Sabrina fans. April can't come fast enough because we have the first Season 2 trailer for Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, and it looks friggin' awesome. So we're going to get right into what this teaser might have in store for us, so if you haven't seen it yet, I've left a link in the description, and come on back. Our first image is of Sabrina fresh out of the shower, and the first thing that comes to my mind is, I hope Nick isn't creeping in the corner like last time. She does a sweet magical dress change, which is an homage to the original Sabrina. <laughs> I also love how Sabrina is a fan of David Bowie, who obviously was a warlock. Zelda asks Sabrina if she's wearing black to be edgy, and she explains it's a new year. And if there's something we know about the end of last season, we know this is a new Sabrina indeed. Check out the flowers and bunny rabbits in the corner here, which hint that it's around Easter time, which would totally line up with its April release date, as well as how the show has done an amazing job at tracking the seasons. Remember, we still have a Christmas episode to get to. Ambrose is just being Ambrose, that dude is always eating breakfast. Now, I think this is really cool. The editors here have juxtaposed two school dances to show that Sabrina is straddling the mortal and human realms. The first here at Baxter High, and the other at the Witch Academy. But that's not the only thing Sabrina is straddling. Holy Jesus, is this a high school dance or an Abercrombie party? But focus here on Sabrina with Nick, which leads me to believe this is earlier on in the season before she likely gets back with Harvey Kinkle. Now we're at a much more subdued dance, and notice here what looks like a wolf pelt. We'll get to the wolves in a second. For those of you who don't know, they're performing what's called a maple dance, which historians believe originated as a pagan German fertility dance. And the women are the ones holding the ribbons while the men sit and are danced around. Miss Wardwell is back, and it looks as though she's preparing for a Valentine's dinner, holding a Native American or African doll, which is clutching a spear. Sabrina arrives back at Baxter High to find Harvey taking off Roz's glasses, almost as if he's about to kiss her as Sabrina watches. Scandalous. We then get an image of a full moon, and if you guys recall from my Sabrina Ending Explained video, which if you haven't seen, get on it, one of my theories for this season is that werewolves might play a big role, especially when we see Dr. Cerberus's eyes at the end of the season, and the fact he's named after a three-headed dog. We then see Ambrose partaking in some sort of ritual with a horn, Salem hissing, and yes, it's possible we'll hear Salem talk this season, and Sabrina being chased by bats. Now, some people have pointed this out, but I think it's a bit too on the nose, but it's possible they are vanished. Vampires. Again, I don't think we have enough evidence for that yet. We have Sabrina here holding hands and performing a ritual with what could either be Faustus or Nick, but we do see Faustus right after with those beautifully manicured fingernails. This is followed by the Weird Sisters, a janitor casually mopping up blood, kidding, it's probably some sort of paint or jam, and Hilda getting ready to go out on the town. Could she be going on a date with Dr. Cerberus? We then have this image, who I'm 90% sure is Nick, but look what he's wearing. They look like human clothes. What do you guys think? Is this someone new? And of course, this is followed by Sabrina kissing Kinkle. Sabrina, you naughty minx. But when Sabrina pulls out this knife, we get even more hints of a werewolf season. A, the knife could be silver, which could kill a werewolf. B, she's wearing a red cape like Little Red Riding Hood. And C, oh, is that two on the nose? She then takes a gas canister to the halls of Baxter High and is whispered to by the Dark Lord, who says, do it. And then, worst of all, we have to wait until April 5th for the new season to come out. But don't worry, December 14th, the Sabrina Christmas episode comes out, and I'll be doing a full breakdown of that. So make sure you're subscribed, you like, share, smash every possible button except dislike, and stay tuned. Until next time.